Welcome to week four of the J. Lewis Crozier Library's Beyond Legos Read Aloud and Building Challenge. This video is going to tell you all about the building challenge for this week, and your challenge this week is to build an animal's home. So perhaps you were with us yesterday when we read this book together, Castles, Caves, and Honeycombs by Linda Ashman. If you weren't able to join us yesterday, in the description to this video is a link to a recording of the read aloud. So you might want to stop this video, click on that link, and watch the recording of the book first so you know all about the different kinds of castles, caves, and honeycombs, the different kinds of animals, homes that are talked about in that book. And then you can come back here and finish watching this video and then get started on our building challenge. But your building challenge this week is to build an animal's home and we want you to use what you have at home. So you may use Legos if you want to, or you can use other materials that you can find. They can be other kinds of toys that you might have in your house. You might look around in your yard, maybe especially for uh, this challenge, your yard or your neighborhood, if there's a park that you can go to down the block. You can use paper, you can use crayons. If you really don't feel like you can build a 3D home, you can draw a 2D home for your animal. Try your best. Let your imagination guide you. It can be an outlandish home. It doesn't even have to be a completely realistic home. You can um, let your creativity soar. If you build this home or draw this home, you should submit it to us by Tuesday, September 1st. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm saying September. But that's the week, which will be the next week after you watch this video. Once you've built your animal's home, take a picture of it and send it to us at jlcroziorlibrary at gmail.com. Now make sure you talk to your parents or your guardians first before you send us this picture. Find out whether it's okay for your face to be in the picture or whether it should just be your creation itself. And the reason why that's important is we will post all of the entries that we receive to our social media pages so the community can appreciate your great creations. Here's a few examples. So you might want to build something from Legos and you see what could be a really elaborate birdhouse there. And then that even looks like, I don't know whether that might be a dog house or whether that's even a people house. I don't know. They're pretty big little trees or it's a big building. But there's two possible buildings that you might build with your Legos. Or maybe you're not going to use Legos and you want to use something else. So these look like maybe a nest of some kind or maybe um, that uh, home that those animals build with twigs. Maybe it's a beaver's dam with a lot of twigs and there's a bird's nest and that person used yarn to m make the twigs. So the possibilities are endless. You can build all sorts of animals' homes with all sorts of things. I'm looking forward to seeing what you decide to use as you build your animal home. Now, if you were uh, with us at the Read Aloud or you've watched the video, you know that I gave you two jobs to do before you get started on this building challenge. The first job was to wander around your home and look for some of the things in your home that make it a good place for you to live. We're actually going to read another book in a couple weeks about the houses and homes where people live. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a couple weeks. So this week we're focusing on animals. The second job I gave you to do was to come up with a list of the special names that are given to animals' homes. And I found a huge list. So if you want to stop this video right now and go get the list that you started and then bring it back and start the video again. All right, maybe you have your list that you compiled. You can see how many of the words that you thought of are on this list. So some animals have special names for the places where they live. An ant lives in a hill or a formicary. A badger lives in a set. 
A bear lives in a den. That's one that you might have thought of. And we talked about the honeycomb, which is inside of the beehive. And we actually had one page in our book about the airy, which is sometimes spelled A-E or just E, the way it is on this list. Cattle can live in a couple different places, a barn. They might be out in the pasture. The building might be called a stable. And then you can um, look at all of these different animals here and the names for their homes. And this might give you an idea. You might say, oh, I want to try to build a web of some kind. You could do that with yarn, maybe. Or I want to try to build um, a nest that a wasp or a bee might live in. Or maybe I'm going to build a termite mound out of something. So this could give you some ideas and help you narrow down the kind of animal's home you want to build for this building challenge. So thanks so much for being part of the J. Lewis Crozier Library's Beyond Legos Read Aloud and Building Challenge, and we are looking forward to seeing your creations.